we are back at the Altar of Sunlight, and the keen-eyed among you will probably notice that not only are my souls different, but I look a little different too. I promise you, and take this on faith, I promise you I have not progressed the story in any meaningful way. I, there is something I have to retrieve before I can progress the story. And so I'm going to go get it. It's called Havel's Ring, which will increase my equip load by 50% allowing me to run around in a lot more uh, expensive, heavy stuff. But I have to go all the way back to the Taurus Demon. Wait, okay. Actually, you know what? I can never remember which way is faster. This way actually is faster, yes. And yes, I did, in fact, finally find the shortcut ladder at the bottom of the bridge. Yeah, I, I did. I found it. I, you know, it's... I found it. It took me a while. It took me a while. I promise you that. But it... But I found it. Yeah, you can fuck off. Goodbye. There is also a Black Knight I could probably kill, but... Please stop. I don't feel like killing him right now. These guys, however, will be cake. Die. The Sniper. Kill you guys. One. You need to die. Please die. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. Now, in this tower is a hollow. But not just any hollow. It's the hollow of a man named Havel. One of the greatest soldiers and personal friend of the great Lord Gwyn. He has something that I want. Namely, his ring. I will acquire this ring. By any means necessary. Alright. Uh, let's see how this does. 80, huh? Alright. Coming close, bait the attack. Come on. How much did that... I don't even know. Okay, so obviously miracles don't work on him. <sighs> Let's try a different approach. Fire. Actually, I don't want to use the gold plant if I don't have to. That's hard to come by. To that end, fire it is. Probably won't do much more, but it's any, any. Ten more is ten more. I'll take it. Why it didn't do as much damage to the shield. I don't know why I didn't attack there either. Yep, yeah, ten more is ten more, man. Nope, not doing that. Because this thing goes straight through the shield if you're not careful. Let's see if we can bait him into lightning bolt. Yes, we can. This is actually going a lot better, isn't it? Good. 
He's dead. Or not. Wow, this guy's agile. Someone's so fucking big. There we go. He's dead. I tell you what. Give me the ring. Thank you. Bubbles ring. Da -da -da. Look at that. 82.5. Not quite at a quarter, though. There we go. Fast roll. Fast roll, motherfuckers. Fast roll, motherfuckers. Still fast roll. See how see how far I can take it. Um, I might do a quick calculation. Uh, see a quarter of eighty. Fourth of eighty is twenty. So I have a couple pounds to play with. No, oh, I think thief mass is as high as I can go there. No, I think this is good. This is good for now. All right. And I'm going to make my way back to Sen's Fortress, to uh, the Undead Parish. And from there, through Sen's Fortress. <laughs> if you don't know, Sen's Fortress is a bitch and a half. I hate it a lot, but such is life. And this guy's hell a hell of a shot, I tell you. Hopefully I don't die to the dragon. That would be kind of crappy. Um. Hmm. Ooh, what's this? What's this now? Uh, I'd rather go through Firelink. Ow. Basically, right now, I'm running at full speed and I have fast roll. And curse resist. Now, if I had been smart, I would have picked up the Utachi Gana or something of that nature, and from the uh, from the Undead Merchant that I showed you. But, and because that has a, that's a very good uh, dex scaling, and dex scaling is a good thing. But I wasn't smart, and so I'm stuck with the Claymore. Which, you know, is fine if it weren't so damn slow. Again, slowness, not fun in the in these runs. Especially with a when everything about me is slow. I mean, the only thing that's fast right now is the fact that I'm doing this, right? Um, I think I will actually upgrade my power Metsu frame with uh, what, what I've got. I do not find them. At, oh, sorry about that. I'm sure that you know, they'll be of some use, some assistance. Here, sorry. Let's take this. Yay! A plane from the Great Swamp. Now you're a fully fledged pyromancer. Yay! Let's get right now. Goodbye then. Be safe, friend. Don't you dare go alone. Sorry about skipping all his introductory dialogue. I'm just so used to skipping it. Keep doing that. One. Gonna. Upgrade this as far as I can. Good for now. Come back. I'm not gonna, not gonna come across any uh, good pyromancy for a little while. So, but I want to prepare that and save some money for later. Through Firelink. La 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 la. la. Perish. I don't. I could have actually. Uh, I could have gone to Frampt and uh, upgraded my claymore a little more, but not worth the time. And I want to get—I want to get through Sen's Fortress. To be honest with you, it's gonna be hell to get through because the boss there is the Iron Golem. Iron Golem is fucking annoying, especially when you don't have anything good to, good to use against him. That boss battle might be very slow indeed. Because I have no good way to stagger him. I only have ten lightning spears. Ah. 
Okay, am I supposed to do this then? So, let's go see Sen's Fortress, shall we? And the snake people that inhabit it. Do -do -do. The Deadly Maze of Traps. I am just going to run straight through this like I usually do. There's a, an NPC you can technically talk to that I don't care enough right now to talk to. Please don't hit me. Okay, good. The snake, the pendulum didn't hit me. I'll stop just so I can make it past that thing. He should get hit by the- he got hit by the pendulum like a beach. Damn it. This will kill her. Or not. She's just gonna stand there hitting lightning at me. This fucking snake, man. Wow. Yeah. Iron Golem fight is not gonna be fun. Not gonna be fun at all. I might, I say might, have to uh, upgrade the claymore pretty much all the way to 10. Possible. He's gonna get hit by a boulder. <laughs> not and not die. By another boulder, please. Thank you. You are not going to get hit by a boulder. You know what? I just feel like bolting this bitch. Bolting this? Oh, fuck. Shit. Okay, this isn't good. That actually gives me some extra time to wait on this. Damn it. Fuck you. Fuck! It all started when that bitch didn't die. God damn it. <laughs> God. <sighs> there it goes. Wow, and then the snake dies too. Just keep hitting him. Please, just keep hitting him. I, w I want him to die. I really, really fucking do. Where is... Oh, there he is. You know what? I wasn't gonna... Mm. Mm. I could go talk to him, I suppose. Yeah, let's go talk to him. Why not? I don't see a reason why we shouldn't. There's the shuttle. Let's go talk to Ziegmeier. What do you gotta say, buddy? Hmm. 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 Katarina. Quite honestly, I've run flat up against the wall. For a ball. I'm afraid I'm a bit too tough to be up running those things. Uh -huh. So here I sit in quite a pickle, weighing my options. <laughs> He's funny. Perhaps I could try to heal My head would spin. Hmm. 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 Still closed. When you he, initially you meet him. Oh boy. Initially you meet him outside of the uh, 
outside of Sen's fortress saying, So here I sit, in quite a pickle. Everyone flat up against the wall, or a gate, so to speak. Just trying to gauge which way it's going. Could have made it at this point. There it is. That was gonna happen too. Thank you. Okay, so next stage of Sen's Fortress after innumerable deaths that were completely avoidable. I'm just bad at this game, apparently. I love how the snakes are just like, yeah, nah. Yeah, that those 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 pendulums, I don't know why you have so much trouble with them. They're easy. Very easy. Watch, let us run straight through. Oh, please. Thank you. Oh, I see, it's another one. <laughs> now, the fun part begins. And by fun, I mean actually fun. Because, you know, uh... There's a bonfire. Right here. And this makes me very happy. I didn't know about this on my first playthrough, and let me tell you what. Now that I know about it, I am so, like I had so many issues with this place simply because of that 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 bonfire uh, existed. I didn't know that bonfire existed, and I would have to every time I died, I would have to run through Sen's fortress. Rule. That's a giant. He's throwing shit at me. I don't like it. And that's, uh... And this is Big Shield Guy. Big Shield Guy gets lightning to the back. More lightning! I say you... He did. Is the Colonel in? I say you, he did. And beyond this little area here is... I can never remember this guy's name, actually. Something with too many eyes and too many E's. Should go right over me. Yep. Simple enough. Now we can kill him. Oh, we traded. It will do. Give me your shit. Give me your shit. Thank you. For your shit. Okay. Now, I've heard in the PvP community that the item in this chest, the Divine Blessing, is very, very annoying. I don't know why, precisely, but I hear that it is. All right. The thing about faith builds is that you want to have a dex weapon. You want to have a weapon that scales with dexterity. Because at 45 dexterity, not that I'll get there in this particular playthrough, but at 45 dexterity, you actually use miracles, spells, and pyromancies faster. Now that being said, I don't have any pyromancies to cast, and I will. the only thing I'll even get close to 45 is uh, probably... And I say probably my faith. I'm gonna get my strength up. Endurance and str endurance and vitality are fine for now. Just increase my strength by one. Uh oh. If you guys see what I see, you know that there is now a serious problem with my run. Satan has taken over. I am now a thrall of the deceiver. I won't say why, but I think you can probably see. And no, I didn't plan that. I wasn't even looking at the, uh... I wasn't even looking at the stat, stat bar, but... There it is. 
such as it is. This last part of Sense Fortress is from software basically saying, you have just been through hell. Have some easy shit. And then it was easy, and we were all very happy. And beyond this point is... Doo -doo -doo -doo, Mr. Arrow Man. Who's quite the chump. But... Up these handy dandy stairs... Is a giant. Yo. Hey, I've never actually done this. To do. This is actually a lot easier than doing it the other way. The He's gonna go bra 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 so mad. Ah! So very angry. Okay. Yeah, this guy has a metric shit ton of health. But then he's a giant, he should. Do 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 do. Through the legs. Through the legs again. Ow. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna go back here to heal. Whee. Hello. Now he's gonna get all angry again. Ow, 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 boy. Wow, he's still not dead, huh? There we go. There we go! Right, my junk, thank you. And now, across the way... ...is everyone's favorite friend... ...the Iron fucking golem. See how much damage this does. Not much! I gotta go through his legs and back. Through his legs and back. The only really deadly part of this fight for me is falling off. Honestly, that's the only thing that really ever kills me. Is falling off the ledge. I might actually get through with this. I think I might have just... No, I'm not gonna have enough. But I'll take him down quite a bit, which is good. This is the most AI-manipulated fight in the game besides maybe Seath the Scaleless, which who you will meet later. Alright, now I gotta get that out the Claymore. Look at that, 44. Wow, that almost killed me. That would have been embarrassing. Back up. One, two... 25. Look at that. That's fantastic. See, he gets really mad when you're under his legs. He has, uh... He has ankle issues. I've always wished that he would fall off. I know that there's a way to make him do that. I've just never learned it. Woo! That was also embarrassing. Again. One more hit'll do it. I missed. I missed. That's fantastic. Thanks for that game.
This is a very embarrassing fight, and I apologize profusely for it. There we go. Thank you. Goodbye. And now we get picked up. Well, you'll see. He's like, dude. What's the fuck with this shit? Oh. Any Lovecraft fans will be quite pleased to see the Night Gaunts in this game. Aw. Hand holding. How nice. Honestly, I wasn't gonna do the, um... Yeah! This. Isn't it pretty? But honestly, I wasn't going to do the, uh... Uh, the white signs, the sun, sunlight metal farming at the Iron Golem. I don't like him enough. At Ornstein and Smo, I probably will. Because I hate those guys. Fuck them. 40,000 souls from him, plus whatever I get from the Iron Golem. So, core of an Iron Golem. So I think it's like 12. Yes. And then the large soul of a brave warrior will get me like five or eight. Never mind. And so I will leave you with this beautiful sight of An Orlando. City of the Gods. And we'll go and level up in the one in the good bonfire. I'll not make the same mistake I made last time, which was... My last playthrough, which was to lose all of my Iron Golem souls. Really smart, wasn't it? And I was way behind on the leveling, and I have only myself to blame for that. Alright, let's see. Level up. Faith, take to 30. Strength. I'm trying to think. Um. No. These need to both come down. And actually, yeah, that'll that should do fine. I don't have any other um, things for that, but I have up, opened my attunement slots. I'll have lightning spear and greater lightning spear when I'm done. I hope you guys have enjoyed this somewhat middling session of backs and forths and summonings and not summonings. I will see you guys next time. Later.